Hi, in this video I will show you how to filter a CDS string data type. Okay, so this is my CDS database and the table I am going to use here is called the spot. Let's look at the data what I got. So I have got a couple of uh, records here. Uh, there are two records for badminton and another one called rugby. Okay, so how to filter the badminton records? And remember this is a string data type. So let's go to the columns. As you can see here, my custom name is called AJB underscore name. And that's a text column. Type is a test. Yep. Okay, let's go back to Power Automate. Here I'm using a manual trigger. Next, I'm going to use the common data service. There are two connectors here. And uh, I generally use the common data service current environment because this this has got more functionalities than the other connector. Okay, here it is. So for filtering, we need the list records. Here is the list records. The entity I am after is called the sports. Next, we need to set our filter query. Here it is. So the syntax we need to use here is the column name, which is AJB underscore name is equal to badminton. Okay, let's add a compose to retrieve the records. Add the name of the record. I'm just going to put the ID as well. Just go down, have a look. Here it is. Okay, as you can see here, Power Automate put an automatic apply to each loop. The reason for this is the list records can return more than one records. Okay, let's save this flow. and test the flow now. Okay, so here we are expecting two records. Okay, flow ran successfully. As you can see here, there are two records here. The first record is one of two, that is the name, and that's a good, the ID. Next, that's it's the same name, and that's the next good. So the filter we were after here is the field name, which is a schema name, AJB underscore name, is equal to two single quotation, the string you want. Thank you for watching.